Hi friends, it's Monica and welcome to my reading vlog for Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. So finally another reading vlog and I'm really excited about this one because this is a book that I randomly picked up and it just sounded really interesting to me. This time we're diving into an adult fantasy romance that takes place at a college for dragon riders. And we're following 20 year old Violet Soringale who is entering into this college. However, in this college, there are a limited number of dragons and there is fierce and intense competition to bond with a dragon. Also, being a daughter of the general, that puts on a huge target on Violet, especially from wing leader Zayden. So really going into this book, I'm really excited to see the dragon college aspect of course and to see how the romance plays into it and I was also very at first curious to see why on Goodreads this book has so much hype on it and I think Fourth Wing was very popular on BookTok but I'm not really on TikTok much these days. Anyways let's just get onto the clip before I unbox this book. So I'm so excited to share what I just got in the mail. I would say that this book was a impulsive buy and it is breaking my book buying ban but I make an exception sometimes. <laughs> but for this one, the reason why I did want to pick it up was because it was very pretty on the Indigo website. And the book that I did pick up was Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. I think that's how you say her name. And I really do like this golden cover with like the black text on it. That was one of the deciding factors for me to actually pick up this book. But I was very excited to see that the spine is stenciled with like dragons on it. And it's black sprayed edges. And it was just gorgeous and I had to pick it up. So let's just get right onto the vlog. For my first check-in, I am around 20% of the way through the book and I am on chapter 9. Right off the bat, my first impressions of Fourth Wing is that it is really reminding me a lot of YA fantasy with its writing and I think that's because it's in first person. But going throughout the first around 100 pages, you do get used to it. Nonetheless, I really, really am enjoying the college setting that we are getting and seeing how all the students are training up to become dragon riders is really cool. Violet, we see how she is struggling with this new role that she finds herself in because in the first place she didn't even want to join the writer's quadrant because she is really trained to become a scribe but her mother forces her and she finds herself in this new position. <laughs> I think that she has like a weak bone condition or something. It's not really elaborated upon. She's described as fragile and quite small. I guess small in stature. However, I do really like how she is a character that uses what she has to her advantage and for Violet that is her brain and her knowledge from her training as a scribe. And I really do like how she's not willing to give up, especially when faced against people who have been training to become a dragon rider all their lives and she's like going hand-to-hand -hand combat. But she finds her ways of getting past that. And some predictions that I think that will happen with Violet is that she'll continue to break the rules of the college. Even though she really is a rule follower, like she's really type A. I also think she will join up with Zayden, who is one of her love interests, who is her enemy. And she will end up disappointing her childhood best friend, Dane. Predictions for the plot, I do think that there is like a hidden rebellion that's brewing as well as maybe like dirty secrets of Navarre, which is the country that we're set in, coming to light and then Violet siding with the, the rebels. And that's just like a working theory I have right now. But overall, I am really enjoying the story so far and I'm really excited to see where the relationship fronts will go and how Violet would survive this. I just reached the halfway point of Fourth Wing and I am on chapter 21 if that helps you if you are reading along. After reading some more, I think it's safe to say that I am very much enjoying this book because of the dragons and we're finally being introduced to the dragons and seeing how grand and majestic they are. 
I was previously describing this book as a romance fantasy, but I think I could just say that this is just a normal fantasy book with a romance subplot. And with the first 100 or so pages, I do think that it was a lot of world building, but then that payoff is really great to see our characters interact with dragons. And it is interesting to see how the dragons are the ones that help grant the humans their magical abilities. And they also have like telepathic communications and there's a mention of like dragon mating bonds but that's more so for our main character to worry about. I do like having the world expand in general instead of seeing a lot of students die in quite gruesome and graphic ways. Aside from that, I do think I know why people have been really loving this book. Moving on to our characters and how I feel about them at this point in the book. Violet as a protagonist, I do take back from what my first impression of her was of her being quite naive in that she is continuing to learn and to figure out ways to use rules to her advantage and like finding tips and tricks here and there to not get killed in this college. I do have to make a comment about Violet and Dane. Violet, she does have loyalty towards Dane as her best friend, but she is starting to see how Dane is really annoying and holding her back from her growth that she's having in the writer's quadrant. With Dane himself, he is a person that is quite an idealist and he can't seem to break the rules in order to show someone that he cares for them and he does come off as very very overprotective of Violet and it's in that overprotective way of not allowing her to make her own decisions. I hope that we see less of Dane in the latter half of this book. Moving on to our other love interest is Zayden. From what we've learned so far about Zayden is that he's the type of character who has a troubled past but then he does have a decent side to him and he's someone that you can actually root for and I do describe him as being respectfully rude to Violet because he's still keeping that distance from Violet but also giving her quite helpful advice to survive in this environment. Although it is a little bit overdone because we are reading this book from Violet's point of view of Zayden being described as being so gorgeous but I hate him so much. It's a little bit tad overdone. I think it's safe to say it is a slow burn romance and enemies to lovers. Going forward for the second half of the book, I do hope that we get to see more of a wider scale of what's going on at the war front and why we need so many dragon riders in this entire college. And I want to see Violet step more into her own power. And I don't want to see less of Dane, but other than that, I'm excited to see what is in store for Violet in the ending of this book. All right, so I just finished Fourth Wing and now my mini review. My final rating for Fourth Wing is four out of five stars. I thought this book was at first a fantasy romance and I feel like it reads more as a adult fantasy with a romance subplot but I do think by the end of the book the balance between the fantasy and romance elements do work out. Initially going into fourth wing I was just expecting dragons and that's what we do get. We are in the setting of a war college for dragon riders where there's a lot of intense fights, a lot of brutality, and also fighting for your life. There are quite a lot of graphic scenes in this book regards to people dying and although some of those characters, the majority of those characters, I did not really care for <laughs> except for one death in particular I was sad about. As for the dragons themselves, I really do love how the dragons, they keep their dragon society a secret from the humans and they're very elusive and all that. Also with the dragons bonding to their writers, that plays a huge part in the first half of this book and I really found that was a really nice highlight of the book. As for our protagonist, Violet, we see how she gets an experience that she didn't expect. I like seeing her struggle with the brutality of the writer's quadrant 
and having her use her knowledge and her size to her advantage at any point that she can. Violet is described as being small in size and as well as being fragile and her bones break easily. So I think she has like a form of chronic pain or chronic illness. And I did really like that aspect to her character and especially in a fantasy world and in this setting. But Violet does grow in her strength physically but also magically as well. I think Violet as a character, she is very honest to herself and she keep to her values as much as she can. One thing I didn't like about her was that her thoughts would go towards to how hot Zayden is and that would just take me out of the story and make me laugh at times. For me, it felt like the author was trying to push the romance to be at the forefront of this book but it ended up being a subplot so but talking about romance with her love interests, I do like Zayden as my love interest of choice. He's the typical type of love interest that I like in fantasy novels. He acts distant and aloof, but he really cares for Violet underneath it all. Zayden, he doesn't pretend to be anything other than himself, and he does act protective over Violet, but not in a way that's over stifling like Dane does, which is her childhood best friend. Dane was an annoying part of the book, but the role he played was to show the opposite side of someone being coddling towards Violet. I would say for the second half of this book was a lot more entertaining. I really loved seeing the bonding with the dragons, to seeing the development of magical powers, and we get more development in the relationship department. And I think I make a prediction earlier in the vlog and I was right in some aspects but I would say the ending of the book was also very explosive. A lot of action happens and there's a lot of revelations as well. Truthfully, the best part of the books for me was Violet as being a unique protagonist and you see qualities in her that you don't really see in other female protagonist in a fantasy novel and of course I love the dragons the most. I would say Fourth Wing isn't mind-blowing. It really does have great winning points that does bring up my rating. I felt this book was a strong start to the series. Those were all my thoughts that I wanted to say about Fourth Wing and I do hope you enjoyed watching this vlog and my reactions. I hope you can give me a huge thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below and also don't forget to ring the bell to not miss any future uploads and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.